Joseph and Mart en route to Petit Guave in Haiti. Working for Welthungerhilfe, they are visiting Rosaline Desrosiers, whose home was completely destroyed by the earthquake five years ago. The region, a two-hour drive from the capital Port-au-Prince, is hard to reach. To ensure supplies, Welthungerhilfe, together with the villagers themselves, built new road sections at especially difficult spots. Is that okay? This plastic pipe is a bit loose here. But everything goes in, or is it leaking? No. Very good. We want to help the people in the long term. We build our houses with high quality material. They are earthquake and cyclone resistant. Our streets are of concrete, reinforced with iron, and we teach the people a lot about agriculture, so they can be self-sufficient. Over 200,000 died in Haiti's earthquake five years ago. More than two million lost their homes. Rosaline, too, lost everything. All her belongings buried beneath the ruins of her house. When the ground began to shake, I ran outside. Then everything collapsed. Afterwards, we lived in tents. At the time, I was pregnant. I gave birth at my sister's house. Rosaline's new house is earthquake-proof, one of almost 1,000 homes built in Haiti by Welthungerhilfe. It is not only earthquakes that pose such danger to the population, but likewise the heavy mudslides that occur often during the rainy season. We're building these stone walls here to protect the land from erosion and to enable us to use more fertile land for planting. Since I've been working here, I've been earning money and I can feed my family. This project is helping the whole region, as otherwise there would be no jobs. Rosaline's income, too, is assured thanks to the project work. I owe Welthungerhilfe more than just my home. I have learned a lot about hygiene and been given seeds to plant. Now I can grow vegetables in my garden and our diets are healthier. Apart from that, I sell the surplus vegetables at the market. From my earnings, I can buy groceries and send my children to school. Now, five years after the earthquake, Wherever Welthungerhilfe has been active, no one has to live in tents. The rubble has been cleared away, abandoned land has been afforested, and roads repaired. The risk of earthquakes in Haiti remains. Yet, for the moment, people like Rosaline can look forward to a better future. <laughs>